Hey, howdy, hey, welcome back to my channel, everyone. So McDonald's just dropped the Disney 100 toys, and I've been very excited for these. They're so nostalgic from even like back in the day, like when they had the first Disney 100 toys, like the 100 years of magic, which I'm a little confused what the difference between 100 years and 100 years of magic was, but you know what? I don't care. I hope I get Stitch. No, but it gets left behind. But let's see what toys we can find today on this little walk vlog. So my goal today is just to get my Happy Meal, then make my way over to Quake Collectibles because you know I'm on the hunt for every women's wrestling figure ever made. So let's do some toy hunting, but first, let's go ahead and get this Happy Meal. This McDonald's is busy. I'm really digging these new Disney 100 toys because they remind me of Funko Pops, so I was instantly hooked the moment I saw them, let's be real. Opening the box, it's honestly giving that Disney magic, you know, it's got Disney characters all over it, and I'm a huge nerd, so let's see, there's a little box inside of that box, and it's even cuter than the Happy Meal box. Oh my goodness, what are they trying to do to me? Okay, let's get this open, and let's see what we got. Now, I'm really hoping for Stitch, but let's be honest, I will be happy with absolutely any of these toys because I love Disney that much. And we have a Daisy Duck. I seem to get Daisy Duck in all of my mystery things that I do, but very happy. Love this Daisy. She's so cute. Look at her little bow and her little sass. And then who else is in here? We've got Shang-Chi. I love this movie. It's honestly my favorite Marvel movie. But the Marvel stuff didn't stop there because we got Miss Marvel on the apples. Yay! But these toys are really cute. They're definitely addicting. And I'm going to be buying as many of Happy Meals as I possibly can. So I hope my waistline is ready for all the McNuggets. I really do like chicken nuggets. They're good. Curtis, what you want for breakfast? Chicken nuggets. Okay. Chicken Nuggets is like my family. Took a stop into Dark Tower Comics, which I absolutely adore this store. If you're looking for comic books, it's absolutely the place to go. But if you're looking for collectibles, there's never too many options, especially if you're like me and you're not like a big comic book person collector. You're a little bit more Disney, a little bit more superheroes. They got the Funko Pops, so that's about pretty much the extent of their collection here but um i love the things around the store then it was through lincoln square where they're already putting up christmas decorations to make my way to quake collectibles as i've said in many a vlog quake is my spot look at this vintage kevin nash brawling buddy i always look at the one dollar bin out front this is the cutest little bull i've ever seen and he's in leather chaps come on leather chaps let's get sickening okay all these little Harley Davidson buddies, and I can't wait to see what else is inside this little treasure trove of plays. Oh my god, you guys, I just rushed straight home so I could film this, like, reveal of what I picked up at Quake Collectibles and kind of what I picked up throughout the entire day. I'm so excited. I am so excited. First and foremost, I found the exclusive Christy Hemi box figure. Oh my god, I have wanted this for <laughs> pretty much my entire childhood and adult life. I have been looking for this figure. It's normally going for like $90 at least loose on eBay and I found this for $4 y'all. I found her for four. She's got her skirt. She's got everything. She's in great condition. The legs are a little bit pressed, but honestly, I don't even see any scratches on this. I see nothing. This is, this is, this is a golden find. This is literally one of the coolest finds I have had on a toy hunt in so long. And then, and then not only did I find the Christy Hemi exclusive box set, I found the Ashley Massaro too. Oh my goodness, y'all. Literally, I found both of these. Both of these figures for $4. She's missing her hat and her skirt, but these can be replaceable. I can find a Nikki Bella hat. I can find another one of those like plasticky skirts that they used to put on all the Jax women. But this figure and this figure, this is like $400 worth of figures from eBay that I just found for $8 total today. I am so excited. I also got this Britt Baker. Yes, 
Yes, we stand. I'm not sure if this is the standalone figure from AEW or if this is the one that came in the pack with Jade Cargill because those figures look very, very similar. Let's be real. Um, but I found this one. I love it. This is such a step up from her original figure. They really did Britt Baker dirty with that original figure. Let me even tell you that was atrocious. <laughs> I still got it though. I don't have the chase, but I have the regular one. Then I found this Ronda Rousey Elite with her Piper's, I would say Piper's Pit skirt. I don't know, but her rowdy Ronda Rousey skirt. Love this Elite. This is so well done as a figure. It just looks amazing to find this for $4. Also, all of these figures I found were $4. This is amazing. Then I found the 1999 Camo Carnage China. <laughs> who looks very much like Rambo from the 80s movie, titled Rambo. This is a mammoth monster of a figure. She does have a special edition one that's got a slightly different like color variant. And from what I can tell, looks like a sparkle top possibly, but this one's cool. I love figures that aren't like normal wrestling figures. So this was a must grab whenever I saw it. Then I found the brown outfit, Tori Wilson with her leg warmers still in the bin. She's got a, that arm just keeps it going. Just keeps it trucking. But was really happy to add this one to the collection. Now I only need, I think, two Tory Wilsons left and I have all of the Tory Wilsons. I'm just needing the ones with like the Lita body that they had made as like her first two figures. One of them is an exclusive box. So like, that's gonna be a little difficult to track down without breaking the bank. But I'm so close to doing all the Tories. And once I have all of them, you know that video will be coming up of me ranking all of the Tory figures. Then my last figure pickup was like pretty much a have to kind of thing. I picked up Rico. <laughs> He's so great. Uh, we've been talking about him a bunch on the Golden Era podcast. He's like one of our most reoccurring male superstars. So whenever I see, um, so whenever I see the folks that we've been talking about a lot, I'll pick them up. Plus Rico, even though you're not gay, you're a gay icon. But no, look at all of these. All of these figures, they got 20 bucks. 20 bucks for all of these. Oh my God, I'm so, this has to be at least going onwards of like $500 worth of figures in my hands. 20 bucks, y'all. I also picked up the little bowl and chaps, like had to, the leather bowl, just uh, cute and I, Honestly, either he was a dollar or I think they just gave him to me for free to get rid of him. But um, yeah, totally had to do that. And then definitely they gave me this for free. It was out in their dollar bin, but it is the Beanie Baby handbook. And this is from 1998 and I had to take a look at it just for pure nostalgia. So I was reading through it. It's got the Beanie Babies listed and then there's like pricing guides. And this is how much they were expecting these Beanie Babies to be worth in 2008. $75, $60 in 2008. Beanie Babies are absolutely worthless now, pretty much. Like, you're not going to be able to sell these Beanie Babies for $75 or $60. It's got all, like, the original kind of Beanie Babies in it. This is a fun little, like, look-see. Like, this was needed for, like, a nice little blast from the past kind of deal. Then, of course, I've got my Disney 100 McDonald's toys, which was the real reason I left the house today. But, honestly, it turned out so much better when I went to Quake. Oh, I'm still so shook, y'all, that I got those figures. Then my Daisy Duck, and then I honestly just realized that this wasn't Gaston, this is Shang-Chi. <laughs> like, it looks like Gaston a little bit, right? But these are so cute. I can't wait to get more of these. These might become a problem soon. I'm gonna have to eat way too many chicken McNuggets. Chicken Nuggets is like my family. But that's my toy haul from today, and I am so freaking stoked by it. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for walking around with me earlier. I know I cut it off early at Quake Collectibles, but I was like, no, get home and film. Get home and talk about it. If you want to see photos of all my toys, you can check out my Instagram, Toy Dork, and also check out all the other videos on my channel. Been really immersing y'all in the world of Joey, which is toys and wrestling. That's pretty much what I'm about. But I do have some more figure ranking videos on the way. I also am going to be featuring more of my other toy collections, such as my Power Rangers up here and my Beanie Babies. You know how much I love my Beanie Babies by now. But more vlogs, more wrestling, more toys coming your way soon. Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you next time. Hasta la bye-bye.